Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about Galatians 5. I was going to do a verse by verse, and the Lord really arrested me and told me, you know, these are, are classic, if I could use the term, classic passages that people go to. Uh, they're, they're relatively familiar. You talk about the works of the flesh. You talk about the gifts of the Spirit. Uh, we see them on artwork. You know, we see... Uh, you know, we're, we're talked about, they're talked about in, you know, context of Sunday school and, and in sermons and, but there's, there's some verses here that he highlighted for me to, to put, uh, put a little torch on as it were, shine some light on it, hopefully. Uh, so you, you might see some of this in a different light. Uh, right off the bat, he said, focus on Galatians 1, 5, 1, where he said, um, uh, in this freedom, Christ has made you free. Uh, stand fast, therefore, and hold on to that liberty. Don't let anybody take it away from you. Uh, remarkable that he had to tell the church that. Uh, consider the, the way the church is today. Um, you know, there, there's uh, moments, there's times where good intentions can actually lead to bondage. Uh, so you got you to be mindful of staying in agreement with God, what he says about you, what he says about you in the word. And who he says you are, not your own personal assessment. He goes on to talk about circumcision. He says, look here, if you get circumcised for the sake of salvation, uh, it's up to you to complete the whole law. And that's not complete one and done. That is for all eternity. There is no end to that. I think uh, human experience will tell us all that is not going to work. Uh, so we are completely excluded from the salvation business. That is a huge revelation. It sounds simple. It's real easy to say. But getting it over to the deepest parts of your heart and getting an understanding of it to the point you're walking it out, it takes a little bit longer. But grasping that, since we have nothing to offer, nothing to bring to the table for our salvation, and God did it all, and on the cross, God said it was finished. So if he did it and it's finished... It's done well, it's done complete, it's done to the highest degree. So we don't have anything to offer to this. What is the issue then? Why are we talking about works of the flesh and why are we talking about gifts of the Spirit? Well, the thing that stands between reality and our personal experience is our mind. The renewed mind is what will bridge us over into experiencing life as God made it to be and as it actually is. Everything we think about ourselves in the negative regarding flesh or, or sin or missteps, all that, that has been wiped out in the cross. It just only exists in our mind. And in our minds, when we're going the wrong direction in our minds, we walk out the wrong direction and we end up with a, with a pile of mess. So when, uh, when we can live out of God's ways, we agree with God is what, what happens. We come into agreement with God in our minds. Uh, to say it as simply as I can come up with, uh, our agreement with what he says about us will bring us into operations of the fruit of the Spirit. He says we're righteous. He says we're holy. He says we're complete in him. If we stand on that and we allow him to work through us, we will see evidence of the fruit of the Spirit. We'll see him working through us in the gifts of the Spirit, and great things will happen. But that's the only thing that stands in the way. And we can look at our lives and take this kind of assessment, not the kind of assessment where we look in the mirror and we say, oh my gosh, I did this and this and this, and, and oh man, I'm a terrible person. No, 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 no. If we look in the mirror and we say, you know what? I am the redeemed of the Lord, and his word says that the redemption is complete. I choose to believe that today. We will walk out of the gifts of the Spirit. We will walk out the fruit of the Spirit. But also you can assess your life and say, okay, in those moments where I decided to switch over to works of the flesh, that is the point to where I do not yet believe the work is complete. Because I stuck my efforts in there and my efforts turned to sour soil. So that is the essentially the, the base of what he wanted to share with me, or he wanted me to pass along to you what he shared with me about Galatians 5. Consider that. Consider that the only thing that stands in the way between the works of the flesh and the gifts of the Spirit is a revelation of agreeing with Him. And the, the moment we switch from uh, the fruit to the works is when we get into trouble. And that is the moment where we quit believing and agreeing with God. That, 
that's that's it. He says positive things about us. We stop believing that and we run into trouble. So we we experience his redemption to the degree we believe. All right, that's all for now. Thank you.